When we have a judgmental heart toward others, we are certainly failing to love them as we love ourselves, right? We are very slow to judge ourselves. We're very slow to condemn ourselves. We want to give ourselves the benefit of the doubt. When we do something wrong, we want people to judge us based on our intentions. Well, I meant good. But when we judge other people, when they do something wrong, we say, it doesn't matter what you meant, it was only what you did, right? So when we are judgmental towards people, we certainly are failing to love them, wouldn't you say? Now, are there times that we need to deal with people's sin? Are there times that we have to say hard things? Yeah, in James 5, 19 and 20, James tells us that he who draws back a brother that's wandering in sin saves his life and covers over a multitude of sins. Sometimes the only loving thing to do is confront someone in their sin. Would anyone accuse you of not loving someone if you were standing at the Niagara Falls and a person is climbing on the rail and showing out and showing off and hanging on with one hand and, look, Mom, would anyone accuse you of not loving the person if you went up to them and said, hey, that is not safe? And then as they ramp up, their unsafe activity for you to say, stop! It may feel harsh, right? To yell, to raise your voice. Would that be unloving? What about when that person continues to persist in that unsafe behavior and is about to plummet to their death for you to grab them by both shoulders and pull them back over the reel? Would that be unloving? No, it would not. Why, why do we think it's unloving to walk through the steps of confronting lovingly people that are in their sin. It's not unloving. Sometimes the most loving thing you can do is to judge someone's sin and to deal with it and to have discernment and say, this is not right and you should stop. But you have to love the person, right? It, it, judgmentalism is, is yelling at and, and correcting and rebuking and and exposing sin detached from a heart of love. That's what judgment is. If you love someone, you will deal with their sin. But you have to love them, otherwise it's judgmentalism. 